Hey everybody, it's Chris, coming at you with a, another one of my guitars. This is the 2015 Kramer Beretta, and this is called V84. They make a model, uh, same body shape, same everything, but the pickup is on an angle called F-spacing, where the bass is going to give you a little more thicker sound, in theory, than this one. This is uh, straight as the original. 1984. This is a replica of it. And uh, like I said, this is from 2015. It's a solid maple body, solid maple neck, made in South Korea. They take extreme uh, pride in their quality of work. It's got a flush mount barrel jack. That's the output jack right there. It sits uh, flush with the, the body, so you get a little bit of an angle, boom, it's gone. It's got the FRT-1000, which is the top of the line Floyd Rose. And then from there, you could get uh, brass blocks in the back to hook to the springs. Um, these little saddles right there, a the little black spot right there. What you do is you tighten this screw and it pushes onto that black box right there. And then that sandwiches the string in the bridge here. You can get those in titanium. You can get all kinds of titanium pieces for it. Uh, I'm gonna keep this one original. It's got the uh, push-pull potentiometer. It's a 500K potentiometer. You just pull it out to get it into single coil mode instead of the dual humbuckers. It's got like a Strat sound to it. That's a feature that they added to the, the new Kramers that uh, keeps it looking original, but it added a feature that people seem to like. Um, I usually just keep it down and uh, keep the humbucker. This is a um, Seymour Duncan uh, JB. It's an incredible pickup. They're made in uh, Santa Barbara, California. And the guitar itself is made in South Korea. It's got a little curve right here. Just like a lot of them do, so your arm can rest on the body extremely comfortable. And then it's got a, what's called a belly cut or a tummy tuck. It runs along the top of the guitar. So, people like me that have just a little bit of a belly keep it really really comfortable playing this looks exactly like the original Kramer uh, that they made in 84 for uh, Eddie Van Halen and uh, people just went crazy for the guitars we started selling them in the stores that I worked in and uh, all of them and they started out selling Gibson and Fender all together and I thought it was just in our shops, but uh, it turns out nationwide and then worldwide, they're selling more Kramer guitars than Fender and Gibson combined. Actually uh, exploded. Once Eddie started using it and every uh, other band started picking up on these guitars, how cool the Kramer Berettas are and all that kind of stuff, it uh, just went uh, nuts. Of course, um, I'm playing all of my music in the background while I'm doing this, you guys. So you can always go to my uh, playlist and go under Chris Link Original Music and find all my songs. This is where the truss rod is. This is where you adjust it to straighten the neck if it ever needs to be adjusted here and there. I'm going to take this off for just a second so I can turn it over and show you. That's another nice feature of the, the newer Berettas. You just unscrew that, it slides out, and it's got this little collar and a little pin right there that holds it into place so it doesn't go too far or whatever else. I've added uh, strap blocks to it, taking the old ones off. And what you do is you got this little piece here and you squeeze that in and it locks it into place. Let me see if I can do that for you. So it's locked in and it can't go anywhere. You'd have to break your strap basically to get it off. And it's got a button right in the center of it. So you push it in the button and then it'll pop it back out. There's the original strap block. Jim done that. Anyways, um, this is a one-piece maple neck with jumbo frets, medium jumbo if I'm not mistaken. And they take one solid piece of wood, put it there. Now in other ones you'll see if it's maple on maple, I'll show you in some of my other guitars if you haven't seen it. Uh, it's a maple neck with a maple fingerboard. This is all one solid piece and they just carve it all out, give you one piece. So. This is where they put that truss rod. You know, I was just showing you where the adjuster is. It's called a skunk stripe, and it's a uh, walnut. 
So they cut this out, put the truss rod in there to uh, be able to adjust the neck and then put a piece of walnut over it. You can't feel it. It's extremely smooth, C-shaped neck. And, uh, you know, if you had your eyes closed, you'd never ever see it. Like I said, it was made in South Korea. It's got great tuners on it, even though you usually have it all locked down. They come with the hardware so you can adjust everything on your guitar. Like right here at the R2 nut, you can uh, tighten these or loosen them. Now, the reason this stop bar here, or uh, retainer bar is here, and it's pushed down on an angle here, is so when your string comes through the block, it would go on an angle down, and then when you sandwich these down, it doesn't change the pitch of the strings. Without this, or if this is high, you don't get that. Uh, the string will go straight through the block, and then when you tighten this down, it'll push the string down, which changes the pitch. So as long as that's set correctly, it keeps the strings 